Hello folks, so this is just a uh, hopefully fairly quick demonstration of uh, how to fly an uh, how to fly a category 3 mode 1 approach, that's an auto land approach uh, with the SWS carriers and in this case the SWS Phantom so um, the USS Midway is down in there somewhere, right now we're vaguely at Marshall, uh, up in the clear here, but the weather is pretty rotten down below, so we have to make a mode one approach. So, uh, first thing to do is tune the tac -N. so I can find that by hitting control shift n that gives me all my nav frequencies. I see that we're on channel 21X, so there we go, I see the ship is down there. South, uh, over to TACAN position, and we're 42 nautical miles away. Uh, the next thing to do is if I control shift P, that gives us data about the ship's uh, course and speed. We can see the course is 186, so that means that our uh, our, uh, our our final bearing is going to be 173, which means we have to turn a little bit to the uh, left to. Uh, to pick that up. So what's going to happen is the uh, landing check light's going to come on when we get data link. The ACL ready light, the landing check light is going to come on here. The, the tilt light, that means we're not getting a valid signal right now. That'll go off or we're not getting any contact, rather. We are getting a valid signal because we did that. We ran that test. Um, and uh, uh, then after that, we're going to be prompted to uh, by the controller to... Uh, to describe the position of the needles. Uh, after he confirms that, he'll tell us to couple. We'll flip the coupler switch and we'll see the coupler light come on here. Uh, and we'll flip that and then we'll get the command control light, which means that the aircraft is being controlled by the, uh, which means the aircraft is being controlled by the, uh, by the program itself. As we get in, we will, uh, we, as we get in closer, Right when we get in close of 12.5 seconds from touchdown, we will get a, whoops, this is my level off. I'm not paying attention. Level off here. Let's put it in out hold mode. There we go. And slow to 150 knots and dirty up. There we go, gear flaps down. So that 10 second light that'll come on at 12 point seconds, 12.5 seconds to landing will be, uh, shows us that deck compensation, deck motion compensation is being included in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, trajectory calculations to put us right on the exact spot. Uh, it doesn't have a 100% success, right? Uh, neither does the real thing, uh, and it varies directly with uh, wind speed and turbulence. Since we have very light turbulence right now, we should have no problem getting the target wire. Uh, and uh, if at any point in the approach anything goes wrong, we will get these flashing... Well, if it goes wrong early, and early uh, we'll get a downgrade to mode 2 which means to fly a manual approach. And in that case, you'll see the manual light come on and uh, you'll see the uh, the couple light will go off and the uh, autopilot will automatically be disconnected. If something goes wrong in close or in the middle, uh, we will get uh, wave off lights. At the top here, this light and this light will flash wave off, wave off, and uh, the autopilot will automatically disconnect. And at that point, you just apply full power and, uh, and go around. So you can request the approach anytime outside of six nautical miles DME. So I don't know if we've done that already, but let's do it right now, just to be sure. So add-ons, SWS radios, comms, and click ACLS mode one. That's uh, that's an auto land. Roger, mode one. Here we go. And we're gonna get uh, into the landing check light pretty soon, so let's uh, switch actually to, uh, uh, let's look at the ICLS display, so that's the SPN 41 needles here, and we can see that we're a little bit to the uh, right, a 
let's line up on those needles. The better lined up you are, the better. The better lined up you are early, as early as possible, the better. Uh, it'll reduce the, uh, the wandering at the beginning, laterally. So here we go, line up, and now we get the landing check light. That's our cue to reduce to approach speed, which we've basically already done through my in, uh, inattention, but we can uh, make sure that the uh, APCS is in standby mode for a little bit, for a few seconds, because that uh, recalculates and makes the initial correction not as harsh. So uh, here we go, we're in APCS now. APCS is mandatory on mode one approaches. Uh, because the uh, control uh, equations are uh, specifically Fox formulated to, uh, are specifically formulated to match the response of the autopilot. So we have to check the data link needles and see that they are centered. Control right report up. coupled. Now we can couple up. There we go. The switch isn't animated right now, but it will be. Command control. And now command control means along with that command control light means that we are uh, under the SPN 42 uh, uh, control. Four miles. And uh, if at any point this coupler on light goes off, we'll get a manual light and the automatic pilot will automatically disconnect and we'll get the coupler off light up here. And you'll see that light uh, also when we land because it will disconnect automatically when you hit the deck. So, from now on, we're just monitoring. And uh, let's watch push over here. Approaching tip over. There we go, on down. Three miles. Three miles, leaving 1,200 feet. At this point, uh, you want to switch back to the ICLS display. Um, because that's a separate system, so that allows us to monitor the functioning of the SPN-42. So uh, the uh, the controller who's talking to us is monitoring the SPN-42, and we're monitoring the SPN-41. Uh, even though the SPN-42 is what is controlling the aircraft. Now we're getting... Two miles. ...in closer to... Uh, if we were doing a non-precision approach, we'd push over at about 600 feet. Non-precision uh, category three approach. Uh, so we're just monitoring. Keep your finger on the pinky switch to disengage. If you ever see those uh, wave off lights, you will, uh, it, the automatic pilot will disengage automatically, but you'll want to hit the switch just in case, or if anything goes wrong, right then now. you observe. So now we're getting really close. We'll only see the deck for a second before we hit it, and at that point, it's normal procedure. Uh, speed breaks in, throttle to, to uh, military power. Uh, in case we miss the wires, but our hook's down, and Minimum. I expect we'll get a good landing. Because there's not much turbulence. There's only a bit of turbulence. You can see it in the AOA. Needle. If there's no turbulence, that needle will be pretty steady. And we can see the water, and there's the deck, and here we come. Bam! Full power, alright. Awesome power. And that's all there is to it. Alright.